Hey, what's up, BFL fam? I'm Carlos, and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today, I'll be talking about a new Tom Ford private blend called Tuberlose New. Keep it right there. Thanks so much for tuning in today. As always, it really means a lot. I do appreciate it, and I hope that you're all doing fantastic. If this is your first time landing here at Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, I would love if you would consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, definitely click on the bell icon so you don't miss any future content that I upload here to BFL. I don't know about you, but for me, it's always a good day when there's a new Tom Ford releasing or when there's word of a new Tom Ford releasing. The one we're speaking of today is called Tuberous New, which I looked up and Bing Translator says it means naked tubros. It comes in a white box like so. I won't put it too up close because you won't be able to see it. It's white with gold writing. The bottle is also white. Gold on the top. Tom Ford Tuberose New in gold print. The notes for this include Sichuan pepper, lily, jasmine, tuberose, benzoin, cacao, Styrax, Suede, Musk, Agarwood, and Tonka Bean. There's your spray. Now, I've had this for quite a while, and um, at first, when I first smelled it, I thought that it smelled very much like Robert Piguet Fracas. But after wearing it for a while, I've come to realize that there's only a slight similarity, and that's that it's a white floral fragrance. This is a spicy floral. It's not candied like Fraka is. This is spicy. It's got some resin going on and it's green. There's definitely a green aspect to this fragrance. I don't get much of the oud. If it's there, it's buried in the background. It's definitely musky. And there's a bit of creaminess at the end. Usually Tango Bean lends a fragrance, a real creaminess, but it's only a swipe, a swipe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving that blooper in. A slight creaminess. It's not overly creamy, like let's say Soleil Neige. That's a creamy floral to me. This definitely has the leather thing going on. There's like a very smooth, expensive suede accord in there. Overall, it's really good. It performs very nicely. It's got great sillage. The only thing is that it leans definitely feminine. The white florals shine throughout the whole wear of fragrance. They don't ever die down. And if you're a guy who likes white florals, then you might like this. But I think this leans definitely feminine. I would try it at least. You never know because it might be different on your skin. But on my skin, the white florals really pop. So my final thought is that this is definitely a heady white floral. It's musky, it's got a leather cord in there, and it's really well done, but does lean feminine. If guys who like carnal flower, then you'll like this. Um, but this is not tropical like carnal flower. That's a much more uh, tropical tuberose here. It's spicy and it's, um, it's green and it's musky. This will be on counters by the end of this month. So look out for it at your favorite Tom Ford counter or boutique or what have you, wherever it is that you shop for your Tom Ford fragrances. Well, you guys, that's my thoughts on the new Tom Ford Private Blend, Tuberose New, short and sweet like I always do. I would love to offer a five minute can to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lovers, and leave one comment down below with what you enjoyed most about this video today. I do hope that you enjoyed. All right, you guys, there's also another Tom Ford coming out real soon, but I'll let you know about that in a couple of weeks or a month. But I hear that it's a good one. So, uh, yeah, until next time, you take care, stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next video.